What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Toxic 3. And in this video, we have some big plans. And those plans are making the ultimate cobblestone farm that also doubles as a concrete farm. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I literally just discovered. The pulverizer actually gives you gravel and a chance of sand. 15% chance. Not that bad. I'm going to have to make like six of these, maybe more. I might want more just so I can have the fastest like, efficiency of the farm. However, I don't want to zero frame every time I do this, so we're going to have to really think about this, so Let's uh, let's see where we're at. We're gonna have to gather a lot of materials anyways, so let's go gather a bunch of materials. <laughs> this is gonna be a big project. We have officially collected, I think, all of the materials. I'm not exactly sure. I may have to run back to the base. These are all the materials I'm gonna be using, so if you wanna look, this is what I'm gonna be using. I got some glass. I definitely recommend these cell mufflers for cheap. They're just like, uh... It's a uh, note block and some wool, just a piece of wool and just one note block. And you can actually like quiet down sounds in the area, which is just completely useful. Uh, oak chests, not sure if I'm going to need these. Probably am going to since I'm going to have to store stuff. Uh, torches to light it up, glass for the lava and all that, but when I actually do it. Thermal block to unlock my cleric because he's locked up. <laughs> we have the Empire's Chalice, which is like just a bunch of water in a chalice I can just place whenever I want. Uh, block breakers. These are what I am going to use for the cobblestone farm. These break the cobble. Incredibly expensive from a uh, diamond pickaxe front, because look at the cost of one pickaxe per thing. So they take a little while to br uh, craft up, so uh, that's that side. Uh, a lot of lava, probably way more than we need. I think we only need this, these rows, but you know, more wood. Uh, sticky pistons actually turn off the farm when I don't need it. These are what are going to be used to route the items where I want them to go. Obviously, you need the obsidian to suck up the cobble. That is what I'm going to be using to suck up the cobble. You could use hoppers. However, I found obsidian things to be a little bit quicker. Uh, okay, and you also bring a wrench, and I have iron transport pipes, so I guess it's a good thing that we actually did check this over. And we have a wrench, sick. Okay, so yeah, these are the resources I'm going to be using. I have four death generators, which are going to be powered by the XP farm. Not sure if I'm going to need all four, but we are going to head over to the XP farm and start constructing this. Now this is probably going to be in a time lapse because it's kind of complicated to explain. So if you guys do want a tutorial, I will give you a tutorial. However, it's pretty simple if you just watch the video to understand how to make it. So let's get crafted, baby.
we have made some major progress on this. This is by far one of the most complex things I've ever done in Minecraft, like ever. I don't think I've ever done anything that quite compares to this. Like, I know it doesn't seem like much, but like routing all these pipes to like power the macerators. I don't even know, bro. My brain's all foggy. Power the the generators, like get the items inputted into them. I have to get some more pipes because I did not bring enough, so I definitely recommend bringing about probably two stacks or three stacks of gold pipes. Uh, a lot of iron, obviously, because you need to route the items. This thing is a freaking beast, though. Like, look at this. 24 compressed cobble. So let's see how much it is. It was 24 times 729. That is 17,496 cobblestone, which is utterly insane. Make sure you have overflow, because you obviously don't want the items like keep circling around. I can't imagine that these pipes aren't laggy. There's no way. But yeah, this is uh, all the gravel. And obviously, you see we get way more gravel than we do sand. Which is honestly perfectly fine because gravel is way more rare than sand is. Like, I have deserts all over me up here, down here. You see, there's literally this is desert central. There's so many different ways that I could have approached this, like just a generic cobblestone farm. However, as you can see, this turned into far more than just a cobble farm. We get sand and gravel as an output. We also get a bunch of cobble. Oh yeah, that's right, turn this off. We actually turn it, oops, sorry. If we turn this on, and start seeing the cobble just starts flooding through these pipes. So I'm probably going to actually rework the wiring so that way it makes a little bit more sense. Kind of the whole point of this was to help me visualize how this all works. And now that I see how it works, I think I understand a little bit better how to improve this system. It is now the next day, and I have spent all day working on this. And what can I say, this thing is a little crazy, like, you can get so many different resources just by powering these. So what I have done is down here I have uh, redstone furnaces on the left, and on the right I have pulverizers. Now the pulverizers seem to be best for getting diamonds, and redstone furnace seems to do well with iron and gold tools. I'm not sure if you can smell iron and gold in these. I have tried and it doesn't pick it up most of the time. But yeah, I've tried to like fix the overflow so that's why there's like gold pipes that kind of circulate the items around. But yeah, it's kind of funky. I have the furnaces down there. They're being powered now. It goes down, goes behind the furnaces and then loops back up just so that way I get guaranteed items that at least try to go in there and power it. I have it's expanded this, but if you look at this, got a lot of gravel, a lot of sand, got my concrete farm. This is literally the fastest concrete thing ever, dude. I'm going to show you real quick. Look at how freaking fast this thing is. It's done. Look at that. That is insane. Although the items kind of go everywhere. I mean, you can't argue. Look at how fast that is, dude. That is eight stacks in like three seconds. Let's make a cactus farm. I mean, they're not crazy hard, so let's do it. We have got it our first piece of cactus. Look at this, everybody. Look at how sick this is. This is our cactus farm, right? A little bit of lag, but like, we got one piece of cactus. It's a little bummy, you know. I mean, I'll make it prettier later, but for now this works, and that's all that really matters, you know. I need some more cactus to finish off the other layers. As you can see, there's not that much, but one is good enough for now. Although we do have a giant desert, like, right here. You can see all the cactus. It's all these little dots of green. There's a cactus. Oh, wait, you can't see my cursor, I forget. Well, the green dots are cactuses. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look, another one! And we picked it up because we have our babel. It is draws in items and XP, which is a uh, pretty dang sick, if I do say so myself. But yeah, 
Look at what we did. We got our second piece of cactus. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.